Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So I have decided I'm gonna wander around this great big world for a little bit just to kind of wrap stuff up that I kind of started in the last part. <laughs> so starting off, we of course have Uncle Amiibo here. He's like, hey, I'm waiting for you. You have to wait five minutes for this. The Yoshi Amiibo is back from looking for hints. So it doesn't actually find moons, but what it does is it finds hints to where moons are. Ah, ah, the same with buying hints from the toad. But anyway, <laughs> so what I'm going to do over here to start things off is, well, see this dog here? Well, it, it goes off and does some stuff. It's cute, so we should probably follow it, eh? eh? I, th I think so. I mean, we should probably just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I, th I think it's found something. I think it's found something. Oh, it's glowing. It's glowing. It looks good. Oh uh, please let... Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, no, no, let just... Uh, let me, there we go. <laughs> There's a moon over here. Found in the sand. Good dog. <laughs> and whenever you see a doggy... There's a good chance that there's a Mooney nearby. <laughs> so anyway, uh, now I'm going to go around the perimeter here. Like, remember I said that there is that ledge way back when I was at the Mohai habitat here? And I'm going to go around here and uh, first is these. You actually got to nudge yourself right along the edge. There we go. And get them like that. <laughs> So you climb up just by pressing up. Pretty pretty simple overall. Anyway, now for the other ledge. Uh, it's actually, oh, it's for, way further up than I thought. <laughs> That's okay. We're just going around the perimeter anyway. And yes, I should be... Oh, shoot. I was going to say I should be doing the alternating hand thing. But I just didn't want to go out of control and, you know, fly off the edge. So we got another one of these seed thingies here that we planted. Remember those that, that that seed back over at the town? Well, well, that's seed number two. Oh yeah, I gotta, gotta kind of. <laughs> I cannot do my fanciness while this is in hand. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so now we gotta take this back over to the town, which is uh, I'm lost. Well, it's a desert, so it's <laughs> it's it's it fitting. It's fitting that I'm lost. Actually, I think it's over this way. It is, uh, yeah, okay. There. Wait, I feel something rumbling here. I'm gonna throw this over here. Bunk. Oh, jeez, it's a moon. Oh, look at that. It's magical. Top of a dune. <laughs> okay, that was on purpose. <laughs> I actually feel something else rumbling over here. I don't think it's a moon, though, this time. Oh, jeez, that thing. Holy jeez! I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> I knew about the obscure moon, but not... Not the bouncing multiple cactuses into the other. Uh, yeah, I feel the rumble of something. It's not. It's not the strong rumble of. No, 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 no! Don't you disappear! Don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't want that to disappear just yet. Here, I want to get it planted. Okay, maybe I'll just come back to this because I, I really do not want to lose this. Otherwise, it's gonna, it's another trek back. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take this bad boy over to the potting plants. And look at that, that one that uh, we put in the last part has sprouted. I do believe that also takes like five minutes or something like that. That's that's why I just didn't want to wait for it. <laughs> so yeah, when you find the seed, put them in a planter and it'll eventually turn into something good. What might it be? Who knows? Maybe a moon? Probably a moon. <laughs> Uh, okay, so where was this? Oh, geez, I'm lost again. Where was the spot that I destroyed for cacti to... Okay, what... What the? What? What? We, we already got this moon. We, we already got this. <laughs> Unless that rumble that I felt was something else, like... It was the coins, but... Not, no, this is not the, the place for cacti. There they are, yeah, they've... No, wait, that's three cacti! <laughs> oh, jeez, it's the true desert. I'm totally lost. Uh, well, there's the high mound. So... Wait, or, or is that the high mound? I think that was the, the high mound. Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, by the way, um... Okay, there it is. But, uh, you know these metal blocks that you see around here? These sorts of things... Yeah, it's, they're very odd. 
but keep them in mind. Okay, so where was that? Okay, I feel the rumble. Uh, it's somewhere. Will the doggy find it? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the doggy can uncover all sorts of stuff, but they typically go for the moons first. So, oh, 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 what? what? Did you find something? Doesn't sound like you. It doesn't seem like you found something anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I gotta go back to the town. Yes, I know. I'm just kind of, kind of floundering here. But you know, you know, it's open world game and all. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna get on top of the roof here really quick. Boing. <laughs> and remember that rocket that was frozen before? We can now use it. <laughs> oh, this does not look safe. This does not look safe at all. Yeah, it's, it's actual buildings that are <laughs> tilting with that. Alright, let's turn this on. Yep, it's a hatless place. We're going all Super Mario Sunshine here, so you, I was going to say, so you can't throw our hat at that. I was making that sound for the purpose of, yeah, but the Goomba got me before. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So basically, you just wait for them to turn around to a stopping point, and then you can go right on ahead. But what you might want to do, just to be sure that you're not missing anything, is waiting for the whole building to turn around, because there might be coins and all sorts of goodies on there. Just saying. Anyway. <laughs> boink, boink. And, um... Uh, purple coins. Those, uh, those look a little dangerous. But not impossible. <laughs> I'm gonna go on this side to start with, and I'm gonna hit this a couple times. Yo, ha ha! But how do you get those coins? Well, what you do is you wait for that to come around, like so, and that'll be the end of that box. By the way, I waited too long. Ah, okay. Uh, I can also just do some fanciness to get up and around here too. That's it's nice. Oh! How dare you! How dare you! Anyway, you hear something twinkling? You hear that? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, nope. This is the hardest moon in the game, guys. It's, it's on one square wide block, so I just, I, I cannot, I cannot fathom this obstacle for some reason. <laughs> and I really didn't have to backflip that at all, but I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> Above a strange neighborhood, indeed. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and finish this. Oh, but yet there appear, <laughs> there appear. I cannot, I cannot get by you guys whatsoever. You're, you're too tall for me. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to turn around this way so I can get these purple coins. And this, you got, it's really awkward to get out of this too. Okay, <laughs> that works. That works just fine. I will long jump across that. And before I grab that moon, I'm just gonna take a peek see around the buildings. Remember I said to just make sure that you got everything by waiting for them to turn around and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I did get everything, but yeah, I just, just wanted to be sure. So I'll grab that moon, a strange neighborhood. I, I guess that's the initial moon, so I guess there's no, no sort of special... <laughs> don't, don't worry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you come over to the rocket, after you finish the cars, then he'll come towards you. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't come towards me after I got across that invisible platform. No, 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 no. He waited until I got here. <laughs> I suppose maybe because he wanted to make sure I had a way back, perhaps. But he could fly. He could fly from me to that rocket anytime he wants to, so there's no excuses. No excuses. <laughs> anyway, let's go back. Surprisingly, if you jump down there, it's a bottomless pit, but if you take a rocket down there, you're just fine. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go over to the Oasis. Meow. Just because. Remember, I, uh, oh, well, actually, is there a Jaxi point here? Because I, I thought there was a Jaxi point somewhere around here. Uh, because I wanted... I thought there was. Okay, maybe I'm gonna have to get Jaxi back in town. Hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna, because yeah, I, I came here before thinking something was open for me to do, and it wasn't because there was a frozen block over it, and yeah, it was, it was bad. So <laughs> let's try this again here. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and bunk, bunk, upsy doodle here, and we're gonna put Jaxi on this stand right here. 
and a cutscene will play out. Ah, uh, were you taking me to see my family, you old softy? I appreciate your kind gesture. Come see me again anytime. And we get a moon for that! <laughs> so yes, yes, our toting has brought me to a family reunion of a Jaxi frozen in time, or it, maybe you just can't tell that it's a statue. But anyway, <laughs> so you feel a rumble over here where all these birds were? There's a moon. Now this was the moon that was hinted at back by Uncle Amiibo. See that X on the map there? Yup, yup. Voila, where the birds gather. You may you may just come across that just by, you know, feeling it out, but some of the some of these moons you probably will need a hint at. Like I need I needed a hint for that one off on the sign, I do believe, on my first playthrough, if I recall correctly. You know, the, I mean, the one at the toxic water area in the back left corner of the world. Yeah, that, 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 it's so obscure that I just, yeah, yeah. Oh, that rainbow bird! That rainbow bird, need, need rainbow bird. Can I get that right now? Yes, I can! Yes! <laughs> That's one of the most annoying ones in the game, and I got it now. <laughs> bird traveling in the desert. That thing literally travels everywhere across this desert. Like, it, it has a path that just zigzags around here and goes up above the buildings, which is another hot spot to get the bird, and it eventually comes around here. I got it now. I got it now. Anyway, another one that I came here at the Oasis for is, oh, it's time for fishing, huh? Huh? Well, I'm taking over. And you'll see these things that look like dabs in the sand here. Well, you can drop your line in there and well I, I don't have it at the right spot but yeah just kind of kind of kind of fish out some stuff when you're above when you're above the fishy area and it starts wandering towards the line. I'm trying to trying to get it to be attracted to my line here come on come on come on come on oh oh I see it wait for the rumble yes yes reel it in but I was gonna say reel it in by spinning the analog stick, but I obviously did it too late in my in my demonstration. Anyway, let's try it again. Mm, try it again, I say. Try it again. We're going for the biggest fish, but I just want to show you how to fish. Just just in general, teach a man to fish, basically. Mm. Ah, I missed time. That's fishing can be a little bit tricky. I will I will ah, dang, and they disappear every so often, <laughs> but then they reappear somewhere else. So. Yeah, you got you got unlimited shots at these bad boys. Dang it! <laughs> you gotta wait for the strongest rumble, and I kind of I kind of keep jumping the gun here. Come on, fish! Come on, fish! I think I, I think I just made one disappear. Dang it! Dang it! Oh, there's the big one again. The big one is the one that we really want. Mm, okay, touch. Ooh, okay. <laughs> analog stick. Analog stick. Analog stick. Left. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. What the poop? Or was it pull it on the against the analog stick and not spin it? I don't I don't remember. I mean, I'm, I'll try pulling at it. <laughs> anyway, oh, 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 oh shoot! Yeah, I, there's not much fishing in this game. That's why I kind of forgot the mechanics of it. Come on, where's the big where'd the big one go again? There you are. <laughs> you just you just keep trying until you get it. Dang it! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Big rumble. Okay, I'm pulling. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. Okay, you yeah, you just pull back on the analog stick. Just pull down. Yeah, it's a moon! <laughs> Who would have guessed fishing in the oasis lead to a moon? Uh, the other ones just give you various coins, if I recall correctly. So it's not super, super worth it. Yeah, and it's a lot, yeah, it's a lot quicker when you, when you got a smaller one as opposed to a bigger one. Yeah, you don't have to do the fights. That's also why I probably forgot the mechanics of things. Because, because you only have to pull back on the analog stick on the really big ones. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it looks like I have fished out. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I was gonna say I think I fished out this place, but maybe, maybe not quite. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. Aha! Yeah, it's just just giving me singular coins at this. Ah, they disappeared. Dang it! You guys are teasing me. You guys are teasing me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, one more. One more. <laughs> eh? Eh? Uh, oh jeez, it was a soft rumble. I jumped the gun again. <laughs> F fishing is about patience. I'm clearly not patient today. Oh yeah, I think the fish just keep spawning at this point, actually. I don't think I can totally fish out the place. 
Oh, gently touched. Okay, big rumble. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's not that big of a rumble, but it's, it's big enough that you can tell the difference between the two. Okay, one more, one more. Or just... Oh, oh, I felt the big rumble right off the bat. Okay, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Next, oops, next place that I'd like to go over to is back over to the ruins entrance because there's a bunch of stuff that I wanted to collect over there, and well, th things are frozen over, so let's just, just kind of go over there now, shall we? By the way, anything that has a hat you have to knock off first before you can take over. So they're like, they're like super. Well, except for when you stack them like that. But they're like, yeah, super ultra durable Goomba variety when they have a hat. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna grab you, and I'm gonna go over to this side like I did before. But this time, instead of uh, instead of just like avoiding the quicksand pit over to this side here, I'm gonna actually go down to it. See that? See that way down there? That that hole just does not look like something that you would ever want to go down into. Just like ever. Just. But should you? That is the question. The answer, of course, is yes. <laughs> And yes, it's another exit pipe if you want to leave now, but nah, nah let's keep going. We've got to get everything 100%ed. Woo. Oh, I failed, I failed my hat jump. Okay, so there's a couple of purple coins over here. Careful not to slip into the doom. And there's probably something over this edge, yeah. Whenever there's like an edge that just seems to lead to nothing, there's probably something there. It's just the nature of Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, there's even, there's even more than I thought. <laughs> Must have been because I was jumping and jumping around and flailing. Uh, okay, so if you'd like to, you can wall kick your way up to the top of these, or you can go all the way to the end as an alternate, easier way, which I guess I'll do anyway, just just for the sake of showing stuff. Yeah, there's a heart over here, and oh, don't 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 slide. <laughs> don't don't not yet. Not yet. We're not done with this area. We're not not ready for you to die yet, Mario. Uh, can I get on top of that one? I think I can from the other side. I think that's how I got up there before, because I believe there's a power moon up there. If I recall correctly, it's a tricky one. Believe me. <laughs> Gotta do the old hat, hat jump trickeries here. Okay, so I'm gonna do my wall kicks to get up to a friendly spot. Don't get squished. Get Oh, jeez, I grabbed onto the edge. Mario's fingers must have gotten pinched. Ah, just a disaster. He's gonna have to go get get those fixed up. So he's just not gonna use his hands for the moment in time. Okay, so... Okay, oh no, it wasn't a power moon. It was a extremely large coin stash. Do I dare try to get it? I think I dare. <laughs> So I think how I got this before was I triple jumped across, starting from here, I th think, I think that'll work, one, two, three, and then hat jump across, yeah, that'll do, pretty big coin stash, but not one of the biggest in the game, as we've seen, actually maybe it is one of the biggest in the game, that was a lot of coins. It definitely not, definitely doesn't top that one over by uh, uh, Wham Bam Rock, but <laughs> anyway, uh, now we can go take the normal path across here if we would, if we so desire, or you know, we could also explore the upper area a little bit more if you want to. Oh wait, 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 shoot, 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 mistimed that. Actually, yeah, I think we're going to have to do it a little bit better in our timing ways. Okay, yeah, it is another moon up here, of course. <laughs> yeah, there. I could have just jumped across back from that side as well. So I think this is where I thought the, uh, the moon was. Anyway, Ice Cave Treasure. <laughs> Got that bad boy taken care of, along with all the purple coins, I do believe. So... Let's go. There's also a couple of other giblets I'd like to collect around this. Oh, geez, what is this? What is this craziness? Yeah, it's the Jaxi Ruins. We're on top of the Jaxi Ruins, the place that we went inside before. Yeah, look at that! Look at that! There's a moon up here. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It's just sensational. There's another way to get up here using a certain gliding friend, but that. Wow, there's a lot of coins in that. <laughs> but, uh. But, uh, well, well, we, we kind of got it now, so we don't have to. 
<laughs> we can use a gliding friend for something else a little later on. Next thing that I'm going to go over to is over here. Look at that, look at that, it's the third and final seed. You know where this goes and it's a long walk back to town. Oh, I missed these coins back on the left side of town. Look at that, look at that, I got them now. <laughs> I thought I went around there before. Maybe I didn't because I was just more on top of things. And yeah, now that the fountain is uh, unfrozen, I can grab these four in the fountain as well. And as you see, that one is not oh, that one is not sprouted just yet. So let's just pop that in there. And <laughs> yep, we gotta wait some more. Sorry. Right, so I'm gonna go back over to. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go to the round tower because that'll lead me up to the very, 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 very tippy top high end of things. We're gonna meet a new friend. Remember I said a gliding guy? Hello there. Uh, I'm traveling all over to glide from all the highest places. This spot looks pretty good for a blunt popping bower drive. Sure. <laughs> flying, 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 and there's a moon over there. Guess what we gotta use to get over there. So you do that. And you hold the B button to glide, press up to dive, hold down to go up-ish, because it's mostly gliding. <laughs> if we get back to a high place, you can fly again. As a matter of fact, check this out. Well, first you can bounce on his head like anything else, but first, check this- oops, I hit the wrong button again. Check this out. If you go over to the round tower, you don't have to take him there at all, because when you do these warps, things reset and stuff like that. There he is, he's back up there again like it's a miracle. <laughs> Now, weren't there some... No, 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 I don't want to start... Weren't there some purple coins, like, hanging around this... Maybe it wasn't this high. Yeah, I thought there was purple coins hanging around this, uh, particular ledge structure here. Oh, there they were. Just gonna go down, grab those. Yeah, this is another way up here. Uh, this was the, uh, quicksand pit area, if you recall correctly, where I... Yeah, I jumped down there, and there's also, uh... I thought there was an alcove somewhere... Uh, yeah, here. Wait for yourself to sink a little bit. Keep pushing against it while jumping. And there's a the moon. <laughs> Man, I planned my path through here pretty decently today. <laughs> things are going, things are going pretty smoothly for once. <laughs> um, now I can go back over. Oh no, I'm not on solid ground. That's right. Yeah, you gotta be on solid ground to do a warp, because obviously you can't warp yourself out of death, as that wouldn't be that wouldn't be kind of fair to the game's mechanics and stuff like that. But anyway, now I'm gonna go over to the sand pillar and try and do something very hard, <laughs> if, if possible. Oh uh, wait, maybe this isn't quite as close as I. No, this is fine. Uh, yeah, this that was Goombat. We've got to take a stack of Goombas to her. And I just, uh, yeah, I'll do that in a minute, but the first thing that I want to do here is get myself all the way over to that super special pillar that I mentioned before, and this is really, really obscure. Hold the Y button the whole way and try and make your pathway as tight as you pos- Oh, it's not here! Or, or is it here? Uh, uh, hold on a second, I want to get on top of that pillar really quick. Because I thought there was a box on top of the pillar that you're supposed to get a bullet bill. Because yeah, you can get you can get on top of there pretty easily without the bullet bill. Or maybe it's just not here yet. No, no, I'm having trouble with that. Turn around to flip. Ah, turn around to flip a dealio like I was back at. It is a tricky move, I must say. So maybe it's not that easy to get up here. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, it's not here right now. So I guess this box appears later on in the game. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe things aren't as well planned out as I thought. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I'm gonna go back over to here and get myself a four Goomba stack. Why a four Goomba stack? Well, 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 you'll see in just a minute. Because you, you, well, I, I, actually I could reveal it now. That Goombat that you've seen over at that... That uh, top area there, we've got to get the Goomba stack to say hello to her. And I, I also just seen this here that I forgot. Three, four, I mean, a couple of purple coins there. And we're gonna go up and around here. Now, you actually got to take this regular route this time. Bye bye. Don't move without me, please. Oh, jeez, I was gonna say, don't move without me, but you, you move without me. 
I, I can't, I can't use a bullet bill at this time, I've actually got to do it normally. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so see that, that sand stack over there? That's just to get you a little bit of extra height over here. And she's like, oh, my hero! Oh! And you get, you get a moon for that. <laughs> so whenever you see Goombet, bring a Goomba over to her, however... Oops, however way you possibly can. Don't scare her away in the in love in the heart of the desert. Don't scare her away with Mario. She'll be like, oh no! Oh no, my love! My love! Uh, another thing that I'd like to do here is go and grab that moon over there, but I want to actually first show you a different route. I don't care about the quicksand. <laughs> it was just because I'd have trouble getting through it with Goombas. Um, is over here... Oh, actually, no. Uh, how did I get... I think I used bullet bills to get across there before, so I guess I might have to actually go around the other side, unlike what I thought. Uh, I remember getting across there before somehow. Grab that ledge, Mario, please. Thank you. Um, okay, so obviously I want to cross that, but, but the question is, how do I get that little alcove thingy? And... Yeah, that, that makes me automatically jump, by the way. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just take a peek see here. I could probably just do the long jump trickery to get there. Maybe that's what I should do. Because I do believe that's how I get that moon over there. Because I need to get activate a bullet bill cannon. I'll just do this really quick if you don't mind. Woo! I could also jump to it from the other side as well. Uh, oh, that. Oh, that's a shortcut door. Never mind about the. Never mind about the bullet bill. <laughs> uh. How did I get a bullet bill over there before? Was it this one? Was it because of that hole in the wall that worked? Oh yeah, it was the hole in the wall. Yay! Okay. Bullet bill breakthrough. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see here. I thought that the last couple of purple coins were around here somewhere, like on the, the waterfall side. So I'm just going to go ahead and... I don't know why I threw my hat at that. It can't take over the pipe. <laughs> just have to point it out, I guess. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, you cheap shot! <laughs> gonna take a peek -see over here. Uh, maybe they... I don't remember where the last purple coins were then. Uh, wait, is that... Is the flying ship here now? Uh, it's like, is it in the air that I can go... Get another moon out of? Probably not, because yeah, I don't think I fixed that portion in the story yet. Okay. Yeah, where were those last couple of purple coins? I wanted to get them, but I, and I thought they were on this side, but I guess I'm wrong about that. It's a lizard! Lizard! Ah, oh, come back here! Come back here! I want to be a lizard! I want to be a lizard! I can't actually be a lizard, by the way. <laughs> you just chase it until it turns into a coin. I'm gonna check the power lines. Remember he got a power line all the way to the pyramid? Well, there's other paths that you can take around here, and if you press the Y button when you're next to coin trails, you can go meow like that with the coins. <laughs> yeah, pretty nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna just go take a peek up here. Uh, yeah, I don't really think I missed anything up here. Although there was this for Jaxi, which I forgot how to get up. Oh, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, that's how you get a Jaxi up here, of course. So you gotta kind of match him with the other statues. They're just gonna go and plop him over here, and a cutscene will ensue, just like at that other platform. I know this place, but my days of standing around are done. <laughs> Welcome back, Jaxi. I guess you just as happy to have the memories like <laughs> of standing around all day, I suppose. Anyway, let's go down and maybe I should go to those power lines. I don't know. I, I'm just kind of just kind of befuddled as to where the poop, the last series of coins are. And I guess I could leave them for later. It's not that big of a deal if I don't get them now, but still, but still. Lizard, 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 lizard. No, I was uh, a little closer to the last couple of purple coins than I thought. Go up here and uh, well, well, well. Oh, that's another power moon, by the way. But <laughs> yeah, there they are. Woohoo! One hundred percent completed. Yeah, 
Oh, by the way, hit this. Hit this with your hat to stun it. <laughs> it's, it's a very shy moon. <laughs> the lurker under uh, the stone. I want to go back to town here to finish things off. And... And... Oh, that, that's, uh, that's not the town. <laughs> this is the town. Whoopsie doodle. So we're going to go back and buy everything from the shop that we possibly can. I know, I know. <laughs> Crazy, right? Because we have all the stuff. I'll actually start with the purple coins. So we're going to get the cowboy hat. Yeah, baby. I will change right now just because. And buy the cowboy outfit. Yes, please. And oh, no. And now this, these stickers go on the outside of the Odyssey, sort of like tourist stickers on your luggage. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're optional, but you know, you want them anyway. And these uh, are going to go inside the Odyssey as decoration. <laughs> so you can imagine, as I continue to fill up things, that uh, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty, pretty stacked. <laughs> Hey, 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 I don't need that, but I do need the boxer shorts. Yes, the the, the most sexy of <laughs> of clothes. Yes, we must put them on right now. We do need these for a moon later. <laughs> so uh, yes, well may maybe not right now, maybe not right now, but we could wear them for now, I suppose. But. <laughs> Oh, and I think the thing that I wanted to finish off last was not over here. It was actually behind here, come to think of it. Uh, there is a thing. I think it's this this way. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was pointing in the right direction here. I guess I could use my compass, too. There is a sphinx behind here, as you might have seen before, as I passed by. And the sphinx is like... Do I have to be... Okay, I'll be right there. Greetings, traveler. Enter your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the thieving Bowser monster desire from this land? It is of course a ring, but let's say we got something wrong. Maracas. Wah, that is incorrect. The answer you gave was not the one I expected. Well, who says you're not the one that's wrong, then? <laughs> okay, so let's actually get this quiz correct since you got that- oh! So you got that dialogue, but I just lost... I think the... yeah, the memory card just filled up. <laughs> well, uh, dump. Gonna go to the media studio and clear some stuff really quick. You are correct! Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. <laughs> Anywho, proceed. Okay, I shall. So, once you do this riddle, you can go inside here and guess what you get. <laughs> well... You get a bunch of coins. I guess this is technically one of the game's biggest coin stashes, if not the biggest coin stash, but... Yeah, it's a moon! It's a moon! Sphinx's treasure vault. And you know, you know, as long as they're, as long as they're in the area, too. I, I might as well do one more thing that's that'll pique your curiosity for the future. Uh, I wasn't gonna show this until I actually reached the world that this is gonna take me to, but since it'll actually show you it now, it's not much of a spoiler since it's just kinda... It's kinda surprising you here. It's a painting. I can see something on the other side of this picture. Enter like Mario 64's worlds, and there's paintings like this in uh, the most of the worlds I do believe. Is I think there's only like a couple of them that don't have a painting. So be on the lookout for these bad boys. <laughs> so yeah, I figured as long as I'm here, I'll just go. Whoa, Metro Kingdom, New Donk City. Is this a different kingdom? Where are we? Isolated rooftop, that's where we are. <laughs> Secret path to New Donk City. And this, yeah, this is a totally different world that I got a moon from. Or that I got a moon at. You pause. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Check the tourist things and everything like that. Yeah, so, but we're so, we're so far away from the actual city that we can't reach it. So back through we go. <laughs> We cannot do anything more here other than just get that moon 
for the future. That's kind of why I didn't want to get the moon now, because I wanted to save it for when I actually did, like uh, when I actually got over to New Dong City. But I thought, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll just do the do it this once, I guess. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Just just because I'm in the area. <laughs> All right, so. We can now go back over to the Odyssey and go ahead and plop those moons, our, our overkill stash of moons, onto the globe. It, it needs 16 more. We have 53. <laughs> but I'm going to do that in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.